Hiya, Barbie. Hi, Ken. You want to eat some breakfast? Sure, Ken. Dig in. What you just saw isn't only happening in a Barbie world, it's happening in our world, and it's happening now. Plastic. 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 Europeans are likely to be consuming as many as three quarters of a million pieces of plastic every year. 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 <coughs> Plastic, it's fantastic! Everybody knows you are what you eat, right? But what everyone doesn't know is that everything you eat and drink contains tiny pieces of plastic. You see, plastics don't biodegrade, like this apple. Why? Because apples are natural, and unfortunately plastic is not. It just gets smaller over time, breaking up into billions and billions of microscopic pieces that end up in the air we breathe and the water we drink. Yes, you heard me right. There are now tiny, small microplastics, nanoplastics, and microfibers found in everything we ingest. These guys are so small, we need a microscope just to see them. You've seen the plastic in our oceans, how it washes up on our beaches, and you've heard about it on the news, how it harms our aquatic friends. But there's not enough discussion about it on the microscopic level, where it affects us the most, the food chain. Plastics are first eaten by plankton, which are eaten by algae, which are eaten by fish, which are eaten by predators, which are then eaten by us. So technically, we can now say that we really are turning into Barbie girls living in a Barbie world. Because plastic is what you're eating today. It's what you ate yesterday. It's what you'll eat tomorrow. Globally, 83% of tap water samples tested were found to contain tiny microplastic particles. And in the US alone, it's a staggering 94%. So, should we just make like Instagram and put a filter on it? Unfortunately, there is no divide between us and microplastics. Guys, what you just watched was filmed two years ago, so let's now fast forward you and give you an update on what's happening with the whole microplastics and plastics and us eating it. This is a sea of trash right here in the jungle. This is insane. What is happening? Pretty heavy news that we're gonna get into, but also some solutions. So let's start with there, the good news. Well, actually, maybe it's not good news. How to solve all of this plastic mess. So I'm reading Scientific America, and they're kind of pitching that the idea that years ago, you unfortunately were led to believe with the whole recycling, reusing, that you're responsible for the plastic situation. The best way to fight pollution is right at our fingertips. So come on, America. Next time you see someone polluting, point it out. People start pollution. People can stop it. So they had all these ads about don't be a litter bug and that famous native Indian. And what Scientific America are saying is they brainwashed you into thinking that it's your problem when they're hiding the whole source of the problem, the actual factories and the people that are producing the plastic. You gotta attack it at the source. So all these years, we've been like, oh, it's my fault, everyone's fault. It's the factory's fault. So if you can get it into your head that the factories are responsible, then it's the people that are for the factories that are facilitating this, because it comes down to the legal system. So if we want to change all of this, we need to fight the legal system. Those corporate greedy people, they're producing so much more plastic that we can't even recycle it fast enough. Because of a legal system that favors corporate generation of plastic, plus the public acceptance of single-use items as part of the modern economy, consumers who want to reduce their plastics are faced with a host of challenges. So it's basically the legal system that favors the corporations that are producing in the plastics and we get left with cleaning up the mess. Let's flip that on its side. First, number one, reject the lie. Litter bugs are not responsible for the global ecological disaster of plastic. Number two, it's about raising your voice. So we need to blame the corporations. Talk about our plastic problem loudly and often. Start conversations with your family members and friends. Call your local federation representatives to support bottle bills. Bottle bills? Demand plastic bag taxes and increase producer responsibility for reuse and recycling. And it's working. Corporations are listening to consumer opinions. After numerous petitions from customers and environmental organizations, McDonald's has pledged to use only sustainable packaging materials by 2025. Guys, that's in literally five years. Why is it taking you so long? Faster. So it's you using your voice against the corporations. 
not like, yes, reduce, reuse, recycle. Hammer those corporations in, in any way possible. Posters, videos, you talking one-on-one, -on -one, make some viral stunt about the whole plastic and what you're doing with it and who's responsible for producing it, all that stuff. There's plenty of people out there on Instagram doing and showcasing how you can do something, but we need to like think deeper and focus on the actual source of the problem. Just one thing before we continue, if you really like that whole Barbie plastic concept and idea and you really like wildlife and animals and the whole environment how's that garbage is it good what are you gonna eat there you want to eat this and you want to hear me ranting more about this whole plastic thing and saving the earth and what's going on you should probably hit that subscribe and bell notification so you can follow along on the journey and see more awesome videos so now let's get back to some more plastic ranting there is a map of the countries that are phasing out lightweight plastic bags all the pink the green at least there's more green on the map which is good so we need more greens and there's a whole list of countries so you guys can go in dive into your country see what's happening like start your own local movement on the actual banning process and then it's when you when you tap into those legal representatives or flood them with phone calls or emails have multiple people flood them with phone calls then they're gonna do something about it because all they really care about is like being elected and if the community don't elect that person then they failed so rally up against them and say why are you not banning plastic look at this mess here do something about it or you're not gonna get elected and now to some good news, so this is just words, so I don't know what's really happening on the ground, but France has banned single-use plastic and it has come into effect. So the ban applies to the most common polluting products, but this is good, at least France are starting the trend in Europe. Thank you, France. What's happening on the ground, guys? If you're in France, comment. In some countries, people face jail time for using plastic bags. This is, we're getting somewhere, finally. New York, statewide plastic bag ban. California, Hawaii, and other countries have put tax on plastic bags. 127 have implemented some type of policy regulating plastic bags by July 2018, two years ago. That's pretty cool. Four years in jail. <laughs> okay, in Kenya, you can go to jail for four years or fines of 40,000 US dollars just for, what, selling plastic bags? Just go back to the whole microplastic situation. So you can't see it, but it's really bad. So because of COVID, it's now slowed everything down. So they're still producing plastic, but the whole like recycling of it and waste management of it is completely slowed down. So stuff just gets stockpiled, the rubbish just sits there, and then someone's gotta like move it out of sight because they don't want it. And then it just ends up in a bad situation and then the water hits it, it rains and it gets flooded into our system. And now there's masks and gloves and just PPE just floating all over the world. And this is a mad article because scientists find plastic pollution in rain and the air we breathe. The fact that it's already in your food, you're being attacked on all fronts now. So all those days when you were a child and you'd be like, oh, it's raining, uh, no, you're, you're drinking plastic. And then if you take a breath in afterwards, you're still inhaling plastic. <sighs> Imagine you saw 120 plastic bottles fall from the sky. You'd be concerned, right? But what if that number was multiplied by 1 million? Guys, they're telling us 120 plastic bottles multiplied by 1 million, and that's the equivalent amount of microplastics that are falling on the national parks in America. Just 11 of them. Are you kidding me? 100,000 tons of plastic is falling from the sky in rain. Oh my God. Here is a good one for you. China, if we can believe them. Single-use plastic, China to ban bags and other items. Now, if we can trust China, because you know of what's happened recently, they're kind of, I've lost my trust. The restaurant industry will be banned from using single-use straws. And China has most of the polluting rivers. So all that rubbish is thrown on the ground, then it gets washed down into the river, and then that river flows into the ocean. So they're basically pumping the ocean full of waste. China, if you can pull this off and banning plastic, we're gonna celebrate, the whole world is gonna celebrate. Seafood study finds plastic in all samples. Researchers bought oysters, prawns, squid, crabs, and sardines from a market in Australia and analyzed them using and found plastic levels of four points. Everything, every sample, every piece of fish just contains plastic, they're eating it. There's so much plastic out there, but it's all like compounded into dust because the UV light breaks it up into the ocean and the fish eat it because they're eating the algae. This is just never, quit fish. Never eat fish again in your life. Plastic, you're eating plastic. And in Europe, they're bringing a tax on plastic. So if you are a factory that produces plastic products, you gotta pay my friends, finally, something. 
pay up because you're destroying our future. And there's an update from Germany that the cabinet are to ban single-use plastic products. So this goes beyond, this is actually the packaging of the products. More than ever, our clothes are made of plastic. Just washing them can pollute the oceans. Polyester, nylon, acrylic, and other synthetic fibers, all of which are forms of plastic, are now about 60% of the material that makes up our clothes worldwide. Guys, we're literally washing plastic into the oceans. So just buy cotton. As clothes get cheaper, the materials get worse, and then that's just really f our system. Estimates vary, but it's possible that a single load of laundry could release hundreds of thousands of fibers from our clothes into the water supply. Oh my god. Um, all of the links to the documents are down below. So things are slowly happening, but it's all about mindset. Shift that blame, because it's not your fault that the companies are just flooding you with plastic and you're like, okay, I'll recycle, I guess, but it just keeps coming. They're producing more plastic faster than we can even recycle it. So if you're still watching to this point, then congratulations, you're updated on microplastics. Feel free to dive deeper, go Google, it's your friend. And also, this is the first kind of like environmental video I've made on YouTube. It's a little different to my whole animal videos, but now you should continue your journey. So click that quokka video there and learn all about the quokkas. They're the happiest animals in the world. Or if you want to know like, I don't know, what's inside a kangaroo pouch, that video is there, excuse me. Uh, click that or click one of those. Just continue your journey and then subscribe. Follow me at Daxon on Instagram. And yeah, you'll learn some cool stuff. We'll have fun. It's, it's a win-win situation. So click one of those and make sure you're subscribed and I will see you in my next video.